Hey, this is the Ridge Runner with, uh, I don't know, this is a quick pine home moment. Uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my kit that I'm carrying today. Um, and I carry pretty much every time I go uh, small game hunting. Um, first, let me clear this because I don't, I don't want people to think that I'm dangerous or anything. So, this is my single barrel shotgun. There's nothing to it. It's uh, made by a company called Eastern Arms. And, uh, it's a, uh, well, it's, it, it, it's a shotgun. <laughs> it, it, it's very versatile. I get, you can get insert for it, so you can shoot about anything you want. Um, light is lightweight, easy to carry around through the woods. And uh, I like it very much. Um, I'm very low gear count today. Uh, sometimes there's usually a big knife or a tomahawk attached to me, but uh, I just got out of the car and ran. And my, some, my uh, field glasses are missing too, so. Anyway, well that's my shotgun. Put that over here. Alright. Next I got a shell bag. That pretty much speaks for itself. Let's put this in there. While we're at it. I keep some shells in here. Um, come right up close to my armpit so I can reach in and grab it quick. And it's under control. It's not sliding around. I got a cigar in here which I'm going to enjoy very shortly. Not much else. I got, oh, I got some power bars in there. You know what power bars look like. Um, and I always keep a flashlight. But anyway, over here I have my Russell Green River hunting knife, hunter knife. Uh, this is fast becoming my favorite knife. It's it's lightweight. I mean, super lightweight. It's simple. Uh, it cuts really good. I don't have to muck around with my, trying to find the place for my fingers to go. And it's just it's really comfortable. Uh, holds a beautiful edge. Um, I've done some work on it. It's not shiny anymore. I changed the color of the blade with. Uh, forced the peanut, but it's a great knife. That's my my hunting knife uh, for today. Um, somebody else is out hunting too. Um, and this here um, is uh, is a water bottle, leather water flask, um, and it is a one quart leather water flask made by a company called Dacian Phelps. Uh, a guy named Je uh, Jeffrey uh, makes it, and he does a beautiful job. This is around 70, 80 bucks. Sounds like a lot of money, but it's such a beautiful uh, item. I'm going to do a full review of it in a little while, uh, and uh, but uh, and so it's, it's it's a good a good item. And I will try to get a link for you on in, uh, on on the website as soon as the website's back up again, uh, which maybe by this time you're reading this, it already is or watching this, it already is. Um, I always keep a belt, and, and here is my belt pouch. Well, it kind of moved around a little bit now. I pushed it behind my back. But this is a nice little belt pouch I've had for about 50, about 20 years now. And uh, I got my survival kit in here. Just a basic Altoids tin survival kit. And I got a couple extra ways to make fire. And an emergency blanket. Not much, but it's something. And uh, so I just wanted to show you what I'm carrying. And uh, I mean, there are times I carry more. I don't usually carry much less than this, though. Of course, I've got my old wool uh, field jacket, which is just a wonderful thing. I've got these uh, Dickies uh, cargo uh, work pants, um, carpenter's pants with canvas, and they hold up real good. Um, I'm going to make a pair in oil skin pretty shortly, and I, I top it all off with a pair of Carolina uh, logger boots. They're not the best in the woods, but that's what I was wearing today. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd uh, let you know and talk to you about this, and uh, I hope to see you out in the trail. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the page and to the into our YouTube channel. Uh, and with that, this is the Ridge Runner signing off.